So this is what you're going to need for this workshop. I grabbed, for this, not workshop, activity, I grabbed a baking pan, there we go, from my kitchen, and then I just put some paper in there. This is art paper. I got a package from the dollar store for, I think it was, let me see, $2 for a bunch of different papers. So I grabbed this one. I like it because it's a little porous, so it's a little bit, um, it's not a shiny, slick surface. It's a little absorbent. So I put that in there. And then what else are you going to need? You're going to need rubber bands. I bought these. I like these because they're nice and thick. And they're from Education, uh, no, sorry, they're from the dollar store. It's a Saturday. I'm not thinking straight. These are from the dollar store, so you're going to need a few elastics. It doesn't matter if they're colored or not. Um, it's up to you. I like the thicker ones. I think they last a little bit longer than the thin ones. So when you are doing this activity, make sure that you have thick elastics. I think it would be really cool also to have different widths because then you can get different effects on your painting. You will also need paint. This is the paint I use. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. Uh, this is Master's Washable Tempera Paint. Um, I got this from Education Station. It's, I think, $5.99 a bottle. You can also go to the dollar store, uh, Amazon, Walmart. I like going to Education Station, though. Uh, it's a local company, and I like supporting local businesses. So I got that from the Education Station, a bunch of different colors. And then I made my own little color palette here. Ooh, see? I tried mixing the colors, like the green and the orange work. My purple, not so much. Here's my purple. It's kind of like a dark mauve. So those are my paint colors. And then I'm using a thick paintbrush. So again, you can get this at Education Station in packages. I think it's like 10 bucks for 10 of them, maybe 12 bucks for 12, uh, 10 of them. I like these ones. It gets uh, really good for your younger children and even your preschoolers will enjoy using this. For older preschoolers um, and out of school care, maybe you want to use Q-tips, maybe thinner, uh, thinner paint brushes. Kind of change it up. Anything different will be a different experience for the children. So this is really, really simple. Let's see how this goes. I'm just going to take my elastic bands, plop them on top. All right. Warning, this is a little bit of a messy activity because we're going to be snapping the paint on the elastics in the tray. So once you have all your bands on, you can put as many as you want on. Get the children to do this. This is a great fine motor activity for them. You can use different size of bake pans as well. Maybe use round ones if you have a cake pan. Uh, you can use smaller ones. I would even try it with a cookie, um, like a muffin tin and see how that works. I'm going to put one more. I'm going to put my green one on here. So here we go. Can you see that? I have six different elastics, different widths apart. That's up to you. Ask your children. This is something that the children should be doing. They can pick the size of their paper or what type of paper they want. You can try it with wax paper. You can try it with tin foil, cardboard, wrapping paper, maybe some bags that you have, anything. Oh, actually, the bags would be pretty because then you can make it into a gift bag that the kids made. So uh, ultimately we want to do this as hands-on as possible for the children. We want to try and avoid being teacher directed or adult led activities. Just put these materials on the table and see what the children do with it. I also always have when I'm in the classroom, wet wipes. They are your lifesaver, seriously. Never go anywhere without your wet wipes. Even in my car nowadays, I, I don't have a classroom anymore, but I still keep these on me because these are a great little tool for quick messes to clean up um, so that they're not tracking that paint all over the classroom and that when they're that done the activity, they can go back, they can clean their fingers off and clean any spots on their arms and anything that might be lingering from the experience. So, and just a tip with that, um, what I do recommend is leaving this out there because if they might, the children might only engage in this activity maybe for five, 10 minutes don't put it away though. Leave it out for them so that they can go back to it and explore more. I mean, repetition strengthens the wirings in the brain. So the more experiences they have doing this activity, the more they're going to learn, the more they're going to be creative and find different things and exp explore with paint and different effects of how you can paint. So this is your base setup. Again, try and encourage the children to do this. And then you take your paintbrush. And you're going to dip it in your paint. Let's see. I'm going to start with blue. Get a lot of paint on there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to actually paint the elastics. Oh, I'm thinking this 
the strokes don't work really well, but the little dabbing does. Here we go. So you can dab some paint on there. Yeah, the dabbing definitely works better. And you can already see I'm getting some splatters in there. And then I'm gonna go with my yellow. Okay, I'm mixing the color, so actually it's a green. So if you have particular children with sensory processing disorder or are sensitive to different sense, uh, sensory experiences, especially with paint, or they don't like mixing the colors, you do want to have different paint brushes for each uh, color because some children might get really upset over that. So have that opportunity. Be proactive. You know your kids best. So if you think they're going to get upset by having mixed color paints on the elastics, then by all means provide different, provide different uh, paint brushes for them. All right. Again, you know your children best. So if you think they're going to need it, then that's what you do. For younger children, you can even use, for toddlers and infants, you can even use hair elastics. Use those scrunchies that we used back in the 80s. I think they're actually back now. I saw Jason Momoa, he had some on. So um, yeah, maybe you can bring some scrunchies and they can do that. So if you're worried about that with the younger children. And then I'm gonna put some purple on here. All right, hi, Jana. Thank you for joining us, Jana. Jana is one of my coaching mentors from the States. She is, was one of the first people I met when I started becoming a coach and she kind of guided me on through uh, coaching in the early years. So hi Jana, nice to see you. All right, so we got that all set up. Can you see that? All right, so now this is the messy part. Get your wet wipes, I'm gonna get my wet wipes ready. I forgot to put on my art apron today. All right, and all they're gonna do now is pluck the elastics let's see oh i'm kind of nervous eee! okay yeah it does get super 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 messy hello nuda all right here let's try this one eee! i actually kind of like that okay it is super messy it's kind of getting everywhere but that's okay children love that pew, pew, pew. let's try that blue one okay this is actually kind of fun i like this oh and you get music too can you guys hear that All right, now I'm liking this even more because you get a musical experience with that. For anyone who knows me, um, I love music. 